Right, hi, good morning. Um, just to show you something really that I've been doing for my class, GIMP, working with GIMP. Um, GIMP, if you don't know what GIMP is, it comes like this. And it's usually viscose in the centre, wrapped with polyester. Um, if I find an end, so if I pull a thread, let's see if there's a thread here to pull. Let me there. Right, so if I pull that thread, you'll see that it's lots of strands in the centre. Now that can be cotton or anything, viscose or anything, and it's wrapped with either viscose or polyester. Um, it's used a lot in gold work, um, so, but obviously you can do what you want with it. Once you've bought it, it's yours. So I'll just thread my needle. Um, I'm not going to say too much about what's happening here because it's my class. But I'll just do a couple of stitches to hear a bit more of it down. Um, just wanted to show you. And this is other work I've done with GIMP. This is GIMP as well. And this edge here. These are out as uh, samples from my class. Um, so just a very quick video. I'm trying to keep you all entertained because I'm might disappear for a bit. I'm having some house renovations done like I said last time and I don't know how much I'll be able to do. Um, although I will try. I will try. I promise. I'm going to pack up all my embroidery. In this room that I'm in now it's like a little lounge dining room set up. I have glass cabinets that have got embroidery in them and handmade artist books and things and I need to empty this room as well. Um, Nothing's happening in here, but I don't want any dust to get in here from the other places. Um, well, I, I, it's going to get in here, so what I'm saying is I'm going to move my uh, all my embroidery and all my artist books and that. So I need to empty all these cabinets. So I don't know what's going to happen in terms of blog and videos and things like that. So I'm just securing this down and then I come back and embellish it later. Um, it kind of curls itself but sometimes it's quite hard to manipulate it. It's, it has literally got a mind of its own. Um, this is thick. You can get thick and thin. Um, so this is a thin one. And the thin stuff is much easier to manipulate. But I like the effect of the thick. Um, come on Karen, it's only a bit of gimp, as if you can't make it do what you want. So I need to do this. I'll take this out of the hoop in a minute when I've done this and show you what the plan is for this. secure it on the back and fasten off because um, I'm going to take it out of the hoop. I don't want uh, don't want it coming off. So uh, I think I said in my last video that I didn't care that none of this was matching because it's only for me. But what I'm going to try and do so that's what's happening, okay. This is a vintage lace trim and it finishes there. So I'm gonna do this all the way to there. Now the other thing about this vintage trim was a tiny button on it, an original tiny button there. And I was desperately wanted to keep that visible. Um, can you see that there? Beautiful, so I, I kind of worked around that. So that's, and this is the buttonhole for said button. There, you see it. So they're going to remain visible. Um, I love things like that. When I find things like that on vintage cloth, I'm at pains to preserve them. So, so that's what's going to happen. It's going to go all the way along here to here. Um, and it does kind of marry. Can you see it? Sorry, I do apologise. So it's going to go all the way along to the end. And it does kind of marry with one of the panels on the bottom. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know how all this is, has occurred. Um, 
so there's a sum on the bottom so it does kind of marry so hopefully as I'm working on this it will become more cohesive as I progress um, and I, like I said it doesn't matter to me I just I love embroidery and I love preserving the best way I can all the pieces that I stitch um, so yeah so that's GIMP okay 